Welcome back. We're here at the Houston airport. I had a long layover, so the plan was to kind of do a strolls in the airport. I had like five hours to kill, but my dumb ass forgot my film back in Salt Lake City. I had TSA hand check it and I forgot to pick it up. Luckily, there was a camera store here and I was able to pick up a few rolls. So, that brings you up to speed. I think today, I don't know, it kind of sounded fun to shoot in the airport. I feel like normally when I travel, I tuck the camera away and I don't worry about anything until I get to my destination, but it kind of sounds fun to whip out the Leica and the 35 mil, see what we can do. We're gonna be shooting it on some black and white. And we're gonna push it a stop just to give us a little breathing room. Take it up to 800 ISO, you know what I'm saying? Set at 800 already, so I don't need to switch it. All right, let's go find the first frame, huh? Let's find some compositions that just scream bored travelers. Because I know I. All right, I'm too chicken shit to do anything else. So we're going to play it safe with this first composition and just get the. Uh, the airplane out here. Five, six, and a thousandth. Man, it's up there. Here we go. I guess I'll go to an eight. There's a plane going in the background, the Turkish cargo. Beautiful. All right, three, two, one. Kind of a safe frame. I'm kind of nervous to be filming and trying to sneak some photos of people. Because that's what's going to make these photos interesting, I think. All right, next frame. Let's go. OK, dude, I think I found a frame I like. It's these two guys sitting, looking out the window. We've got an airplane in the back. Here, I'll show you what's up. I think that was going to be pretty good. Two distinguished gentlemen watching the planes go by. Not bad at all. There's a mom and her daughter over here sitting on a bench. The question is, no one's ballsy enough to get it. Wait for this janitor. Oh, he just stopped right. Look at this, dude. He stopped right in the shop. Three, two. I'm gonna get it one more time, dude, from a different angle. Come on. Come with me. Right this way. Nerve wracking. Okay, I already see him back there. Three, two, one. Got it. Okay. It's kind of a fun moment. It kind of tells a story. So there's a big window right here. Oh, kind of a, it's, it's a bridge. We got cars below us. I think it'd be sick to um, put a little ND filter on here to get people walking past, kind of fuzzing them a little bit, you know? A little motion blur. And it's a good thing Daddy brought some ND filters. We got an ND8, an ND1000. Which one do you think is going to play? Let's go with the 8. Slap this on the M6. Shout out to our Earth. An eighth of a second, dude. Can I hold that still? All right, dude, let's line something up. Three, two. I think it was my quick, dude. This 
is nerve wracking, dude. I don't know. I'm trying to make something interesting. Here's another pilot. Let's try and get it. We'll see if it works. Dude, I think the train's up there, so let's go. Let's go do it. Busy time up here, bro. I think these umbrellas are sick, dude. The upside down umbrellas. There's something kind of more big and wide. Probably ditch the ND, I don't need that in here. Five, five, six at a... Five, six at a sixtieth. Five, six at a thirtieth. All right, here we go, dude. Three, two, one. That one's gonna be lame. But dude, there is a Christmas tree and it is the Christmas season. Let's get this umbrella right here. Five, six at a one twenty-fifth. Okay, dude, I think for this one, we've put the ND back on. We're gonna, all the passengers that are getting on the train have to stop and wait for everyone to exit the train. So I'm hoping, oof, that was close. So I'm hoping that there's gonna be a bunch of still people and then a little rush of people. And I think it could be pretty cool. I don't know if that makes any sense. But we just gotta wait for this place to fill back up again. That's the plan anyways. Let's see if we can pull it off. All right, this might be a little bit of a huck and pray situation. I do. I want more people. So I'm going to get up on this bench too and really get above everyone so you can really see who's standing still and who's really in motion. Let's see if we can go according to plan. We'll see. Everyone's kind of in a hustle and bustle. Get a little reading and see. Half a second, dude. That's asking a lot out of me. Half a second shutter on an F8 with an ND8 on. See if I can hold still enough for everyone holding still to be sharp, and hopefully half a second is long enough to really give some hustle and bustle movement. I don't know. I picture it more with. A lot more hustle and bustle, a lot more people. We'll see if it will fill up one more time and then try it again. All right, dude. Fifth time's the charm, I don't know. I don't know how many times we've tried this. I think we've done everything we could do with this scenario. Head back down the escalators here and see what else we can go find. Alrighty, there's some pilots. I'm gonna go get a shot from behind. Probably need to ditch the ND though. The ND8 that's hanging on my camera, I'm gonna put that in the breast pocket. Don't let me forget that. Come back to Reality Town and put it down at like a 60th. And like a 5, 6, what do you say? It's under, dude. Let's go F4. I'm guesstimating focus here, dude. Where they t Can't see him. 10 feet away, maybe? Great. 
two, one. Oh, he was looking down. Three, two, one. I just had a good idea for a shot, but do I have the balls to do it? Right over here are the little video monitors that show all the flight information. And you had a bunch of people just kind of staring up at the screen. Just... So I want to stand right under the screen and get a shot. Could be risque. Have I gotten just a big wide of the joint? Probably not. There you go, that's probably the most you've ever seen of me. This whole sodi. Make sure the camera's not in frame. Alright, here comes the car. Do 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 do. Here we go, dude. Three, two. Mm. Here's a nice shot. Mm. Here we go. Three, two, three. three, two, one. You got the the limo golf cart resting, charging up while everyone's also recharging in the background. Let's get that, bro. Three, two, one. Nice little ad for United. Get some of their brand in there. All right, dude, quick bathroom break right before I get on a flight, but this is what I've been carrying you around all day on. My little uh, tripod coming out of a suitcase. I guess we gotta get a mirror selfie too before it's too late. That's what we really need. I think that's gonna do it. We're out of time, flight is boarding as we speak. I gotta tear all this down, put it all away, get it travel ready. But pretty fun. Not a bad way to kill a few hours in the airport. Definitely feels like I should try it again. That's what it feels like for me. I'm fortunate enough to travel some for work. So I'm in airports every now and then. I should take advantage and try and document it. Uh, we didn't quite finish the roll. I'm on, um, I got like eight shots left give or take. Feels good to be back, feels good to be out taking some photos, document it this style. Fun exercise to try and take some photos in the airport, I don't know, it was trying to look for little stories. I don't think we found any. It's good practice. Anyway, all right, I gotta tear this down before it's too late.